Are you stuck waiting on access to Python and Excel? Have you asked Microsoft to give you access to the public preview of Python and Excel, but you haven't heard anything from them? I want to let you in on a little secret in this video. You don't need to have access to Python and Excel to get started building your skills. I know, I know, it sounds strange, but it's absolutely true. I've been using Python and Excel since before the public preview was announced. So more than five months now at the time of this recording. I've taught two live courses on Python and Excel, introducing professionals how to use it. So you can trust me when I say, you don't have to have access to Python and Excel to get started. You can start building your skills today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop three nuggets of knowledge on you, which makes this possible. These nuggets, when combined together, allows you to get started with Python and Excel today, even if you don't have access to Python and Excel. I know it's counterintuitive, but it, it's actually true. <laughs> so nugget number one, 99% of the Python code that you write for Python and Excel is no different than any other Python code. Doesn't matter if you're using Python and Excel or using Jupyter Notebooks or you're using VS Code or PyCharm or whatever. It doesn't matter. The code is exactly the same. This is part of the reason why Microsoft decided to put Python in Excel is because it's a generic skill, it's a transferable skill. So that's the first thing, that's the first nugget to keep in mind. So nugget number two is you only need to learn a subset of Python. Now I'm gonna have another video on my channel to cover this in more detail, but know that Python is a very large programming language. It allows you to do things like build websites and web services and enterprise applications and all kinds of stuff. So because of that, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Python is big and complicated. However, Python and Excel is specifically designed not for software engineers, but for people like you, professionals like you who just want to have more impact at work using data. Therefore, you don't need to learn all of Python. You can learn the subset that you need for doing analytics and data science, and that reduces the learning curve. So that's nugget number two. And now for nugget number three. I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to get a little bit nerdy. <laughs> okay. Microsoft designed Python and Excel in such a way that it doesn't actually run on your laptop. Your Python code is actually run in the cloud. So Microsoft has this cloud infrastructure called Azure. So what ends up happening is you decide to run your Excel formula and it gets shipped up to the Microsoft cloud and it gets run up there. And there's a lot of ramifications to this and I'll talk about that more in a later video. But for the purposes of right now, what you need to know is, is that when your Python code actually runs in the Microsoft cloud in Azure, it runs on something known as Anaconda Python. And without getting too nerdy, just think of Anaconda Python as a type of Python, a flavor of Python, if you will. That flavor of Python has certain capabilities that come out of the box. So as long as you're learning how to write Python code with Anaconda, you are automatically in compliance with what will be happening in Python and Excel. If you use only the stuff that Anaconda Python provides as you learn it, as you learn Python, you're good to go. When you do get access to Python and Excel, all of your code literally is just copy and paste. You copy and paste it from like a Jupyter Notebook, let's say, into Python and Excel, and it runs just fine. Because remember, nugget number one, which is 99% of your code is exactly the same. So when we put all three of these things together, this is how you start building your Python and Excel skills today, even though you don't have access to Python and Excel. You find a tutorial that focuses on the subset of Python that you need for data science and analytics. And two, you also need to make sure that you're using a tutorial or you're learning how to use Anaconda Python. If you've got those two things, you're future-proofing your code. You're future-proofing the stuff that you're learning for when you do get access to Python and Excel. And who knows when that might be because Microsoft is being very cagey about <laughs> who they actually give it to based on who's applied for access. Now, here's the really cool thing. I'm a big believer of putting my content where my mouth is. So not surprisingly, I'm building a free Python crash course tutorial series on my YouTube channel that meets all of the requirements. I'm gonna focus on just the topics that you need to do analytics and data science. It teaches you how to install Anaconda Python locally on your laptop so that everything that you learn throughout the entire crash course series is as close to as possible as just copy and paste, right? Copy your code from my Python crash course tutorial and put it into your, your Excel workbook and then you are good to go. Then you can see here some of the topics here, right? Introduction, how to install Python. This is Anaconda Python, how to install it on Windows, how to install it on the Mac, 
what is Python, using Jupyter Notebooks, understanding data types, so on and so forth. New tutorials are going to be released every week until this thing is done. And this is going to, I don't even know how many lessons there's going to be, maybe 20. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, if you're interested in getting started with Python and Excel, you can do it today. Just head over to my YouTube series here and you can get started. And everything that you'll learn will be 100% transferable to Python and Excel. So there you have it. Python and Excel, how to get started today without Python and Excel. I'll put up a couple tiles here on the video so you can just click them if you are interested in looking at my Python crash course. Okay, so that's it. Until next time, please stay healthy and I wish you very happy data sleuthing.